getting started with the HTML editor, I wanted to talk a bit about how web pages look. Uh, essentially, let's just take a, a look at an example here. Um, it's going to go to Google and randomly pick a site. Okay, how to train a dog. This, of course, this is how the site looks uh, to you. However, this this page is actually made up of something called HTML, which is actually code for web pages, and this is what the code looks like. Okay, so you can see here that there's some some stuff here, some gibberish, I guess you could say, and then we have the uh, the text that you see in the page, but then there's these tags that uh, tell the web browser what it is. For example, this P here stands for paragraph, and that lets the uh, the web browser know that this is a paragraph, or H1 that, that lets the browser know that this is a header. So, like a professional dog trainer, if we go back to the uh, the page here you can see that that this part is bigger because this is the the header so the reason that the, all these words look the way that they do um, you know of course we have some bullets here and images and all that stuff the, the way that the browser puts it all together is by looking at uh, some code that's in there so what we need to do is we need to get an editor because of course I don't expect you to sit down and start writing code from scratch like this. Uh, fortunately, there are tools uh, known as HTML editors where you can look at the page uh, like this rather than looking at it like the crazy code. You can actually get to see both. So that way, as you change the code, you can see how it looks. And that makes uh, creating web pages and editing web pages a heck of a lot easier. In fact, it's not really that hard at all. So the, the most popular editing program is Dreamweaver, Adobe Dreamweaver, and it is excellent. It's what I use. However, uh, it does cost quite a bit of money. So what I want to suggest to you is that you pick up a really nice free program that I've also used called Composer. It's available at composer.net. Uh, you just go there, and again, it's, it's, this, this is free software, and download it and install it. Now, if you do have Adobe, uh, you know, if you do have any other different kind of program, that's okay. Uh, you know, the gist is going to be the same. But uh, if not, go ahead and grab this. This is what I'm going to use in the following videos to demonstrate some basic HTML skills. I'll see you in the next video when we start to talk about how to construct a page. I'll see you there. Thank <music> you.